so coming up things we're gonna be doing awake neck lift deep hip sculpting um, this patient's got a little bit of fullness in her neck and submandibular glands so we're gonna go make an incision under the chin go under the platysma muscle tighten the platysma muscles and then remove little bulges that she has here which are the submandibular glands right here right there to do this i'll make an incision underneath the chin this is something no one's ever going to see unless she looks up so this could be a well hidden scar okay so the next step is in, as i'm freezing it i'm going to put a needle in here it's going to do a pinch it's mm -hmm. going to sting a little bit and then we'll be all good okay ready one two three poke and just a little freezing going in Freezing stings when it goes in, and then after a few seconds, can be all numb. And the whole neck area is going to be completely numb. So, that's what allows us to do this work. So, next up is some more freezing. area is being injected with what's called a tumescent solution. It's got some local and some epinephrine in it. It's going to help freeze the area and minimize bleeding and bruising after surgery. We're finished trimming the submandibular glands. You can see a little empty space here on both sides. And we're going to do just like little tiny liposuction out there, like kind of just a little touch up to smooth things out and we're going to start closing. I also tightened up the platysma muscle just to give it a nicer contour. And now just a little contour in, and then we are done. Reshaping and taking out the submandibular glands, tighten the muscle, remove a little bit of fat, a little bit of neck liposuction, and tighten the platysma muscle.